Kinsley reporting for Kids First. And today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Janine Mason, who stars in the Wendla Trilogy, which premieres on Apple TV Plus June 28, 2024. Miss Mason is a Cuban-American actor and dancer from Miami, Florida. Her acting career began after winning the fifth season on So You Think You Can Dance. She is best known for her role as Liz Ortaco in the CW's drama series, Roswell, New Mexico, and as Dr. Sam Bellow on Grey's Anatomy. Today, we're talking about her role as Eva in the new series, One's Love. And thank you, Miss Mason, for joining me on the show. Hi, Kingsley. Thanks for having me. I'm so happy to be speaking with you. I really loved Wenzel. The animation was amazing, as well as all of the characters. So let's get into it. Eva and Wenzel is a courageous and lively teenager. What did you enjoy most about playing this role? Getting to be a teenager again, girl. <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> you know, I think like... Um... She's so enthusiastic and she's so excited about everything that is ahead of her, even the challenging stuff. Mm -hmm. And that made me really excited to just get to step back into that feeling and remind myself that that is true for me now. Just like I think people watching it will know it's true for them and it's true for their parents or, you know, um, their guardians who are watching it with them. Yeah. It's right how positive she was all the time, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. This animated show is based on Tony DiCiolisi's New York T Times best-selling book series, The Search for Wanda, and features a star-studded cast. What, what, what was it like working with your fellow cast members? You know, what's crazy about animation is we don't get to meet in person and work in person like we would in a live-action thing. But instead, it was this really beautiful thing where the first few months of sessions, it was just me sort of throwing the lines out. And then I would start to get edits back where I would hear what my fellow actors are doing. And it was such a lovely surprise every time. And it was so inspiring when you go, God, he's really committing to this scene. I want to match that level. And you start, it starts to inform your performance. You start to make little adjustments. Um, I'm so excited now that we're in the promotion elements of this story, of this journey with Wandla. We're going to get to start meeting and, and going to conventions and meeting fans. And, and I... I love them. I'm a fan of this cast. It is a star-studded cast. So I can't wait to just meet them and hug them and thank them for their work on this because it really inspired me to like bring my best game to the show. Your character, Eva, spent her whole life underground. How do you feel being stuck in a bunker throughout your entire childhood? That would have been unfortunate, my girl. Would have been unfortunate. <laughs> uh, I'm really glad instead I was thriving in Miami, getting a little sun. Mm -hmm. Um but, you know, I think she does make the best out of it. She does really take the time to live fully in her imagination down there and to prepare for what she is about to encounter, even though what she ends up encountering is very different from what she anticipates. And I do think to a degree, like, that is what childhood is, you know? Like, you're in your hometown and you're prepping and you're getting ready and you're trying to anticipate what it is that'll help you in your journey of like setting out into the world. Um, and I took that really seriously as a kid in Miami because I always knew I wanted to be an actor. So it was like, what can I do while I'm here to prepare myself? Uh, so I think in that way, maybe she's not so different from us. Yeah. <laughs> this series offers a mix of adventure and discovery. Without giving any spoilers, what can you tell us to expect from the show that you especially enjoyed? I mean, I think the visuals of the show are just so epic. So as she starts to explore the surface of Orbona and she comes in contact with different cities, you know, um, meeting royalty and all this stuff, it's like it was so fun to get to be curious like Eva is, you know. I was I was discovering these worlds with her and every visualization that I had in my imagination for what it would look like was exceeded in what's actually on camera when I would get animation back from from the Skydance team I would just go like oh my god her costume or you know that animal that you described to me this like giant water bear I'm like it does look like a water bear it, it was the visuals of the show just continue to outdo themselves through this first season and through the trilogy did you have a special routine before you went performing the show? Oh my gosh, yes. I 
the first few sessions, I was like so excited. And of course, you know, like she lives in a higher register than my voice does. And <laughs> she's very excited off the top. And uh, I would blow out my voice after every session. It was like four hours and I would lose my voice. So I started to drink a lot of throat coat tea, which mm -hmm. was my constant Wandla companion. And I started to make adjustments in what I would wear into the sessions. I remember I showed up in jeans and it's actually like quite physical and you're doing all the jumping and you're trying to make it seem like you just leaped and grabbed onto a branch or something. And so I would start wearing more like comfy clothes and, you know, yoga pants and all of that and better sneakers and yeah, I was sweating. I was, it was a <laughs> physical experience doing the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I loved Omnipod, voiced by DC Douglas. It's a character that is a handheld device that which is provided to every human at the age of six. How can you describe Eva's relationship with Omni? Absolutely. It's Omni is sort of like a, an iPhone meets like a Fitbit sort of fitness tracker kind of thing, you know, mm -hmm. or uh, iWatch, I guess. <laughs> It is both um, helping take care of her in the, in the in a physical way. It's like monitoring her vitals. It's reminding her like, hey, you could use some food right now. Maybe have grab a Susta bar or something. <laughs> um, but it is also sort of this like what originally was kind of like flat ended up becoming we kept building it into more of like a sarcastic sort of Omni where the the opinions of Omni sort of come then suddenly whenever doesn't need it and and he it is literally attached to her so it was fun to to find moments where it was a savior and then moments where Omni was you know sort of like a a big brother or something where you're like ah oh, leave me alone I know <laughs> um so that's how I I felt that's how the relationship for me hearing what DC was doing with the part was so fun <laughs> yeah Omni always made me chuckle uh so we have time for one more question yeah. Wanda has several me messages portrayed throughout the show, one of them being friendship. What do you hope audiences will take from watching these series? Absolutely. You know, I think friendship turning into found family. And for me, I guess for where I'm at in my life and for the amount of like traveling I've done and my job taking me to different places where I'm not maybe always available to see my family or to have them come with me or my friends, I've found that it's so important to forge family and to find people who are going to take care of you no matter where you are, because you might need a little helping hand now and then, or maybe just for pleasant company. So I hope people um, are inspired to, to know that no matter where they are, they're going to be able to find some, some comfort and some friends and some found family. Thank you for talking with me, Janine Mason. Look for Wenzel Trilogy premiering on June 28th, 2024 on Apple TV+. Thanks, Kingsley. You're awesome. Can't wait to talk to you about the next thing. Yes. <laughs> That's it for now. I'm Kingsley reporting for Kids First. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to stay informed about upcoming films. Thank you. Bye.